Hello, hope you're all okay. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to record a collective haul and piece it all together so I will hopefully look better than this in the next video. But you know, the outfits are going to change and the background should hopefully get tidier. Um, I've got a few bits and bobs coming in this week, but nothing that's individually enough for a haul. So normally I'd save that and do a collective haul. However, we are going away in six, seven, eight days. What day is it today? Tuesday. Eight days. Um, and I have to get ready for our holiday and I have to get the house ready for the house sitter and the dog sitter. They're the same person. Um, so I don't really want to store things. I want to kind of unwrap them, show them, go. So collective haul, piece together. Um, I've got a lot of stuff that was due to come from Amazon today. I tick that box so it all comes together. So, you know, technically I could have had some come yesterday, some come today. Tick that box to, you know, save on packaging and save on delivery. And then I got a box come this morning and then the rest is coming between 9 and 10 tonight. Fail. So, the two bits that I have right now from Amazon is I got some of these vacuum bag um is it a spare brand it's six vacuum storage bags sorry if you can hear Ruben very excited with Dora the Explorer in the background space saver we it's the one that comes with a pump um we just I need to get the winter coats out of the house we don't have enough storage uh the other thing I got is to hopefully help tidy the bathroom um I've seen things like this in pound stretcher uh for cheaper than what i paid for on amazon i think i paid 28 quid um however it's here uh and i hadn't had to go over to like yeah i think i think i've seen them for like 25 pound in pound stretcher so i've paid a little bit more than it was there but it's here you know amazon prime uh, and the other two bits I have to show you right now are things I picked up from Morrison's. Um, Holly, will it be the head I am? Um, Garnier Nutrice in shade 10.01. Couldn't get it in Wilco, couldn't get it in Superdrug, couldn't get it in Boots, like in store, my local ones. Found it in Wilco. And then when I was in Wilco, I picked up some of this Pantene Pro V something protect oil uh i don't know if it's any good i put it in my hair last night before i plaited it um i'm gonna do the same again tonight and then tomorrow hair dye so yeah that is the first part of the collective haul hello uh welcome to the next installment of messy house collective haul um i've got the amazon that came late last night and the post lady came with two parcels um today uh i've also got the dpd man coming this afternoon because you know chaotic is my lifestyle uh right first things first etsy it's a green fan green and wood green is the color of the year i've said this multiple times um broth on holiday um the temperature is going to be like 28 29 one of the days it's saying it's going to be 31 i'm a big girl i need a fan uh next is my first ever purchase from vinted a little burberry moment um <laughs> oh how life is i'm stood here with amazon t-shirt and i think asda george shorts on and I'm buying Burberry for my child. Um, to be fair, they were very, very reasonable. Like the same price that you would pay for like H&M stuff um, because they're pre-loved. So yeah, a little Burberry moment. Um, Reuben is, these are size two. Reuben is three at the end of August. He's got a very skinny tummy. Um, I'm hoping they fit him. We have an issue at the moment that unless it's got a button clasp, size two to three on some like Marks and Spencers and H&M are falling off of him. So we're hopeful. We, I, I'm hopeful that that will fit. 
um if not they'll be saved for next summer and then the bits i got from amazon i've got the garnier skin active ultra lift complete beauty day cream i think this is either my second or third one of these um amazon is definitely if you want, look out for it this is like definitely the cheapest place to buy it i've seen this go for like nine pound this one was three quid the price fl fluctuates that's not the right word goes up and down a lot for this stuff but i saw it at three quid so i got that um on the other end of the spectrum i got a very tiny bottle of tan Lux the face uh self tan drops basically instagram made me buy it i think it was like 12 quid it looks like that i've never tried it before if i look tangoed in my next video you know why uh and then dr Be beckman's travel wash washing on the go to take on holiday i have a toddler i have a husband i have boobs that i tend to drip soup on <laughs> that sounds awful but you know what i mean i'm a spiller um and we're not airbnb -ing. we're staying in hotels so i won't have a washing machine so this seems like good stuff i got a little travel cutlery pot for reuben it's a spoon and a fork it comes in a lovely little sage green it's looking a bit more minty on screen it's sage in real life little cutlery travel pot I have a new hairbrush which I bought a rather expensive um, one it was pink um, off of TikTok TikTok off of Instagram um, like three months ago Stacey Solomon was talking about the brand um, and I bought it and I broke it um, and I bought one that looks identical for a third of the price off of Amazon it's just a different colour. This may also break, but, you know, it was a third of the price. And it's pretty much the same. Well, it is the same design. So I got that. It had lots of good reviews. And then I picked up this. This is the levelled puzzle. It's three puzzles in this, like, book setting. I'm not going to open it. Um... But the puzzle is magnetic. Ruben loves puzzles. Again, this is to take away with us. So there's a lion, a panda, a giraffe. It's for three plus. He's not three tall, August, but the kid loves puzzles. But they're magnets, magnetic. So, um, yeah, hopefully it'll stay tidier. And again, it's a slim lined thing to try and keep him entertained while we're away. Um, I can't remember if I've already said we're going away because we're going to a wedding um, so yeah we need things to entertain the little mind hello camera in the cupboard um, I've got a little bit more for the collective haul it has been a day toddler club play dates lunch with friends and Ruben still didn't nap I am dishevelled officially but we had a ted baker order come it's three things let's add it to the collective haul the uh, first thing is this super cute shirt i'm not going to take it out of the bag just because um <laughs> trying to prep for holiday and it's not going well um, but i've got this super cute shirt for ruben um look how cute this print is with um horses and cowboys in winter but oh, it's not cowboys it's horse riders and um floral bits and parachuters and it's just an adorable little shirt for Ruben to wear while we're on holiday while we are away it is Ruben's godmother's birthday and I go oh so we got her a little gifty gift. It's a necklace. I don't know how well it's going to show up. We're going to focus. Old school YouTube. 
No, it's not going to focus. It's a little gold bumblebee necklace by Ted Baker. I think she's going to love it. I would love it. Um, I hope she loves it. But hey, yeah. And then... Green is the colour of 2023. Um, I am more of a darker shade than this. But I couldn't leave it. It was half price. Um, it is the iconic bow shiny. Um, it's technically a wash bag. I'm going to use it for my makeup. And hopefully I'm going to fit everything, apart from shampoo, um, in this for Holly Bob's. Uh, but yeah, this was like half price. I don't, I don't think I had to pay thirty-five pounds for it, but I think I, it was seventeen, and then I had fifteen percent off or ten percent off because I had a code. But yeah, very happy with that. Right, let's see if anything else gets added to this. Hello, collective haul from the cupboard. It's sunglasses, not on her hair. Like I've got a little Alice band going on at this angle. Hope you're all okay. I have two things to add uh, to the collective haul. Um, this first one is the both from Etsy. Uh, this one is Lotus Jewelry by Cara. I don't know. I haven't got glasses on. And I'm old. Um, see if I can get it in. My nails are a little bit too long at the moment. Um, it's a very dainty ring. Um, I'll go like that. And it's not going to focus. So very dainty. Um, it has... Um, oh, I wish... I will try and take a picture and insert. But yeah, it basically has three semi-precious um, stones. Um... John's birthstone and my birthstone. Oh, no, I'll insert a picture. But basically, um, it's mine, John and Ruben's birthstone. I saw it. I've had it in my basket on Etsy for ages. And then they had a 50% code come through. Uh, so I got it for half price. And it got here really quickly. And it's big enough for my chunky chunk fingers. But yeah, I'll put a picture because it's not going to focus. But basically, it's got our three birthstones on. And the next one was made by Soha, S-O-H-A. This one is just, um, like the other one is, is gold with uh, gemstones. This one is a bit more of a, uh, this was like less than a tenner. Um, yeah. Oh, love from Sophie. Okay. She has a very cute little card in there. Um, and basically it's like gold wire with green um stones in that i'm gonna wear as a thumb ring i just thought it was cute again it's not going to focus so i'll take a picture and add it at some point hello um i have a <coughs> more stuff from bleh, with a random haul i'm looking very disheveled it's very hot i've spent a lot of time in the garden today had a shower but we've not washed my hair uh, I don't know how to make this look good, so I won't even bother trying. Also, done a lot of washing, hanging up to pray to the gods so I don't have to iron. But yeah, had a couple of bits turn up today to add to the world's longest haul video. Um, I have a kilo of something that looks dodgy. This is um, premium quality bicarbonate of soda. for the garden <laughs> um apparently it's gonna help get rid of not only kill some of the weeds but we have foxglove growing in our garden which is beautiful and lovely but it's poisonous to dogs and gilly is an idiot and will try and eat these things and they come back every year and apparently not only will this kill it but it will stop it ever coming back i don't know we're gonna try um and then i've got some miracle grow Performance Organics, Fruit and Veg Concentrate, Organic Liquid Food for Fruit, for fruit, for fruit and Veg. Currently, I have potatoes, pumpkin, beetroot, 
tomatoes um, and a selection of herbs growing in the garden. Um, and I have strawberry, beetroot, a pineapple growing in the kitchen. Um, the herbs, I've got two types of mint, um, basil and parsley and something that I think is thyme but it doesn't smell like thyme so I don't know and I've lost the label but yeah. And then I got a um, Ambience Octopus handheld fan. It's got like a gorilla pod handle um, to attach to the push chair, the travel push chair, the push chair because it's going to be super hot in Poland um, to, to help Ruben stay cool. Let's see what turns up tomorrow. <laughs> Hello, this has to be the last part of this giant collective haul. What was supposed to be a couple of, oh look, I got this cool thing from um, Amazon has probably turned into the longest haul of my life. Um, I didn't quite realise how much stuff we were going to pick up this week. Uh, today we popped into Truro. The plan was to go for lunch, have a mooch around TK Maxx, may have spent almost 100 quid, separate haul to follow. Um, pick up my magazine that you pretty much can only get in WH Smith's locally. Um, and get a few toiletries for our, you know, little getaway next week. And yeah, as I said, Spent more money than expected in TK Maxx. Found some really lovely cush um, DKNY cushions. And, and yeah, I just I spent money that I wasn't planning on. Um, but it happened. Right. So, but that's going to be a separate haul because it's too, it'd be just too long. It's ridiculous. So, from WH Smith's, where I went in to buy one magazine, they had packs of Duplo. Like these little fun packs for four quid by the till. Guess what happened? Ruben wanted one. Duplo, if you don't know, is like Lego, but big for toddler sized hands. I got my pack myself a pack of Smint Mints. Love those. Very much like the blue ones. Uh, I got my magazine. The simplest things it takes me about two months to read it because that's life with a toddler um it's just beautiful and there's nice recipes in it and i'm such a middle-aged woman um but you know it talks about interesting people that go traveling with their children's and children in vans that i will never be brave enough to because even though i try and do gentle parenting i don't have a gentle child get me uh, and then Reuben picked up a load of plastic. Uh, Reuben very much needed these ice lollies in his life. He also wanted one that has a doctor kit. But as we have just spent out, I think it was 15 quid for a doctor kit at Asda. No, Tesco's, which he loves. I wasn't going to buy a plastic one. So yeah, we got the CBBS magazine with a load of hopefully wooden, but they're probably plastic. Oh no, wooden ice lollies because he wanted them. Uh, and then from Boots, uh, toddler snacks, obviously. It's not the biggest Boots, but it's not a small, small one. It's like a, a medium-sized Boots. So we've got some Kiddelicious Fruit Wiggles. Uh, John picked up a L'Oreal Man Expert Shower Gel. Got some Colgate Advanced Whitening Toothpaste. I got some John Frieda Volume Lift Thickening Blowout Spray. Going to a wedding, it's going to be really hot. I'd like to, see, like, if we were at home, I'd do the roller thing to get volume, but I just don't know if it's going to happen in a tiny hotel room trying to deal with everything else. And I don't want my hair to just stick to the side of my face. Got some dry shampoo, not the scent I wanted, but it will do. It's the Charming Peony, apparently. I like the tropical one. Uh, we got some, where are you? We got two lots of um, Sultan lotion for Reuben, both boots, Sultan range. We really like this one from last year. This is kind of our go-to one. This is what I've already gone through one of these this year. Um, Reuben is very pale. I am naturally, my family are very pale. Um, like genetics, my mum was a very pale woman. Uh, and then this, they've also got a stick 
in the same range so we got one of each we get on with this but we wanted to try this and then you got a free we don't talk about bruno cup there was this one or a pocahontas one um and Ruben wanted this one he's never seen this film but that's the one he picked so that's the one he gets uh john got a deodorant it's the l'oreal man expert that matches the shower gel because that type of thing is important to him i got this mascara which i'm this is like my third one i really really rate it even compared to some very expensive ones that i've tried before so this is by collection so really reasonable uh this is the last lash surge false lash effect mascara i rate it like up with really expensive ones that i've tried um i got the uh, natural collections so are a really cheap brand tinted brow gel um i really like it i can't even tell you what side i'm on one side i got pierced when i was a silly teenager my dad told me not to do it i did it anyway i hated it and took it out after two days now i am in my 40s and i still have to fill in said eyebrow so two days i kept that blooming piercing in <laughs> thank you 90s um sanex deodorant for myself and then I couldn't leave these little nude sunglasses behind. Um, they are My Little Coco. We've had some of their hair stuff for Ruben when it's a bit longer and it does the little curly thing. But yeah, it says Beach Bum on them. And um, obviously our surname is Beach and I couldn't leave it behind. So yes, that is <laughs> the end of the world's longest haul. It might only end up being quite short, but I'm relatively sure... I've rambled for like eight minutes on each one of these clips. <sighs> All things that shouldn't necessarily be a haul. It's just kind of shown how many bits and bobs I've picked up in preparation. Not every week is like this. Not every week am I buying some random thing for the garden. And definitely not every week am I buying magazines to read on an aeroplane. You know, I've bought it now. You know, Ruben's not going to sleep on that aeroplane, don't worry uh yeah this is my rambly collective haul i hope you don't mind the state of my house the change of outfits the state of my hair my skin my face it happens uh oh cupboard chats hey right i'm gonna leave it there thank you if you make it to the end if you have made it to the end of the rambly haul put aeroplane in the comments just so i know thank you uh take care guys i'll talk to you in the next one bye